had to like pause my intro because this wig is giving me all types of life right now and I'm just you can't tell me this wig is not growing from my head top like it's giving very much scalp but anyways let's get back to my regular intro Hey babes, it's your girl Smith Bay, and I'm back again with another video and today we're doing a wig review and install video and before we get into the deets of this beautiful wig, make sure you follow me on all my social media platforms at it's Zay Bay Bay. So anyways, I got this stunning wig from Premium Lace Wigs and this wig is a kinky curly wig that comes with curly baby hairs y'all. I just, I know I'm like just being like, I'm like oh my god curly baby hairs like what Zay? But like, let me take it in, a lot of curly Kinky curly hair comes with straight baby hair. So this is the first time I ever seen curly baby hairs. And I was really excited to like install it because I feel like it's going to look really, really natural. And I feel like it would be really easy to style instead of like the whole swoopity doop because I'm not a great at swoopity duping wigs, okay? But this is their deep curly lace front wig. I got it at 26 inches, 250 density, and it's Brazilian human hair. And y'all, this wig is really, really affordable, like super affordable. Um, this is starting at $110 and it goes up from there. And because I love this wig so much, I asked the company, can y'all bless my subscribers, my bays, with a discount code? So I do have a discount code. If you guys are interested in this wig, you get 20% off, y'all. 20% off. So, yeah. So I noticed that the knots weren't bleached on this wig, so I decided to bleach the knots and did a little bit of plucking. So as you can see, after I bleached the knots and washed the hair, the curls is not as tight as they were they kind of loosen up a little bit they're still more on the kinky side they're still very like soft and had texture they're not straight which i still like um i kind of over plucked a little bit but when you see it by the end of the video it you don't even realize how much i over pluck is the way that i styled the baby hairs because because i it is curly baby hairs i'm not gonna do i don't have to do no swoopity duping or anything like that i was gonna blend it in with the hairline anyways so this is how i was looking on my head after i bleached it did some plucking it looks crazy but trust me it's gonna look good at the end. It's gonna look good at the end. So right now I am prepping my wig by applying foundation onto it so that way it blends nicely onto my skin. And then I'm gonna be going bold hold liquid gold to apply this wig. And I decided to do the bald cap method. However, because I use the bold hold liquid gold, it started to eat away at the glue that I used to put on my wig cap. So normally I would've used regular glue, but because I don't want this wig on, for longer than two days, I went with the liquid gold. So if you're doing the ball cap method, don't use the liquid gold because it's eating away <laughs> at um, the even spray. So that kind of kind of ruined my my application a little bit. So with the liquid gold, you put on you put a little thin layer, and then while it is sticky, you're gonna put press the lace into the liquid gold. Then you're gonna put your blow dryer on warm, and you're gonna start blow drying the area, and you're gonna start pressing it in with the comb to get a really nice melt. And you keep doing this until it completely dries. And I like to work in sections, so I like to do one half of the head first, and I like to do the other half later on. Next, I'm going in with Captain Inspired Lace Lock Melting Spray. I'm obsessed with spray. I love it. So I'm applying this on top of my lace, and I just love it because it just melts the lace amazingly, especially when you use a melting band with it, and it gets rid of that grid look. You know the lace, it has a little grids that you see. It really just melts it and makes it look really, really natural, like it's growing from your scalp. And now I'm just cutting some of my sideburns because I feel like they're a little too long and sideburns are not that long so you want to make it look as natural as possible. So this is where I'm kind of doing the cleanup part because I wasn't as clean when it came to installing this wig. So I'm just kind of combing out the baby hairs and I noticed that some of the hair was kind of stuck onto the scalp and I didn't like that. So I grabbed a sock. It is a clean sock by the way, but I grabbed a sock and I um, put some alcohol in it and I'm just dabbing it around the hairline to get rid of that shininess because the liquid gold kind of looks like a shiny residue. So I want to get rid of that residue. And then also I'm just kind of dabbing a little bit on the hairline so it lifts the hair off from the scalp that way I can really like finesse it because I just hate when the baby hair is like glued onto the head like it just it really bothers me especially when we want a really natural look we don't want that and so right now I'm just cutting the baby hair shorter because these baby hairs are really long especially after washing it which makes me sad because I really liked the way it looked in the beginning that really tight curl I wish 
were still able to achieve that but you gotta wash your hair when you get it anyways but I cut them short to make it look more natural but I'm gonna show you guys how to get them curly again so I'm gonna go in with some mousse and I'm taking a little bit of mousse a little a little bit at a time on my fingertips and I'm just lightly brushing it through the baby hair and I'm kind of scrunching it up at the same time and you don't want to go in with too much product because you don't want it to have that like stiff hard to look you want to make it look really natural so I'm just like taking a little bit of water and a little bit of mousse and I'm just kind of like you know playing around with the baby hairs and really like scrunching it up to get the desired like curl pattern back because we really want that curl pattern back because that's what's really gonna make it look natural so right now I just let my hair out of the ponytail I'm just kind of playing around with the baby hairs right now to kind of figure out how I want to style it how I want it to make it look natural I'm just really just playing around with it right now and I'm also trying to figure out how I want to style it do I want a center part do I want you know a side part so I'm just figuring that out right now and it's really just playing with this because this is the first time I've ever dealing with curly baby hairs so it's, 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 it's a first for me we're, we're going on the journey together and right now I'm just going in with some mousse, light mousse, because I actually want the hair to be really, really big. I love big hair. This is 250 density, y'all. I didn't even really brush out the hair completely yet, because this hair gets really, really big. Um, but I'm just taking a little bit of mousse just to tame it and just bring some curls back. But I don't want it to be, like, wet or anything like that. I still want the really big, poofy look. And this is the wig fully styled, y'all. You can't tell me this is not growing from my scalp. This is coming from my head, y'all. So after the baby hair set, I took the comb and brushed it out a little bit. That way it is soft enough and blends more into the hair. And I absolutely love it. And actually, this was so much more easier than curling baby hairs and swoopity duping. Like, I think this hairline looks so much more nicer than the baby hair swoops. But now it's time to get into the pros and cons of this wig. Cons first. I The cons of this wig is definitely that you have to bleach the knots yourself, which sucks. Um, the cons is the fact that I love how tight the baby hairs looked in the beginning but unfortunately when you wash it they loosen up and you have to kind of retrain them to curl again and then also another con is that the fact the sides of the lace they get smaller at the sides so that way you can't really pluck as much I only could pluck as much as possible or you would see the track so that's why it's a little bit more plucked in the center and not the sides so that's a bit of cons so plus love the curly baby hairs I think they look so natural it was really easy to finesse it's really easy to style I love it the hair is amazing quality thick soft curly I love it density this is not for the faint of heart if you can't do big hair you are not gonna like this hair but you can definitely pick which densities you want the length is beautiful I am five two and a half and it stops right at my bum but this is a gorgeous wig I absolutely love this wig this is one of my favorite curly units I've ever gotten to be honest so I do have a code for y'all Zebe 20% off. This wig is really affordable. So I got $110 and I think it goes up to 410 USD depending on the, the density and the length that you pick. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoy this wig review. Let me know if you're gonna cop this wig just in time for the holiday season. Anyways, babes, make sure you follow me on all my social media platforms and I'll see you guys again in another video. Bye.